We've got our programs able to use bitmapped graphics, but to really provide some sort of immersive experience, we need sound. And sound can really make a game a whole lot better. In order to add sound, first off, we need to download sound files. I've got a sample sound file under 12.4. It's pretty boring, but I'll show you how to get more interesting sounds. And right on the here link, if you right click and then do save link as, you'll save the sound file. This is a simple click sound file. I'm going to go back up to the desktop and then select my chapter 12 project. And just like the image file, I need to make sure that the sound files are saved in the same folder that the rest of my program is saved in. I hit save. Then finally, I can close this out. I can go look at my folder, and I've got my cat pictures from the earlier tutorials. I've got my chapter 12 program, and I've got this click wave. If I double click on it, it'll open it up in Windows Media Player. In this case, first time I've run Windows Media Player, so it wants to do a few funny things. And there we go. A simple click sound. I'm going to take my program right here, and where I am loading the images, I'm also going to load my sounds. Like with the images, I want to load these sounds before the program starts. I don't want to load the sound right before I have to play it every single time. I can just load that on startup. To load the sound, first off, I need a variable. I'm going to call it click sound because that's what it is. And I just set that equal to pygame.mixer sound with a capital S, really easy to miss that capital X, and then put in the file name. Click.wave, WAV is one form of saving a WAV file. You're probably familiar with MP3s. There are a lot of different formats out there. This will load the sound, but it won't play it. If I go ahead and run the program right now, great, nothing terribly interesting is happening as far as sound goes. But down here, if I go ahead and do the following, click sound dot play, as soon as it hits that click sound dot play, it's going to play the sound. Let's go ahead and run it. Well, that was really irritating. Why is it doing that? Well. Remember, this loop happens 20 times per second, so I'm telling the computer, play click sound 20 times per second. I don't want a game quite that irritating. What I'm going to do is take this click play sound, control exit, control V right here, and I'm going to add another event. If event.type equals pygame.mouse button down. This event is triggered when the user clicks a mouse button. I've got this event loop. Note here, I'm keeping the entire event loop together, my two if statements here. I don't have any other commands in between those if statements. Now when I run the program, normally it's quiet until I click the mouse button, and that triggers the sound. I can have the sounds trigger when two things collide, when I fire a laser beam, that type of thing. All you need is some sort of event trigger or otherwise have an if statement that checks for a condition and then put the sound.play inside of it and you'll be set to go. It is important to remember that not all sounds can be played by Python and Pygame. I don't know why, but if you search the internet for WAV files, some of those will play fine in your browser. You download them and they don't work. The problem might not be your code. It just might be that that sound file doesn't work really well. If it doesn't work, I'd recommend checking with this click sound. If it works with a click sound, then the problem is probably with the file and not with your code. A great spot in order to find sounds is to go look at opengameart.org. And not only do they have images, but you can also browse sound effects. So you can go to sound effects, and then sometimes they'll have zip files, sometimes they'll have individual files, and Let's go ahead and see what this is. Yep, that's a pretty good sound. We'll go ahead and click on this. 
and it is allowing me to download it in a couple different formats. The .ogg files, argvorbis files, work really well with Python and Pygame, so I'm going to save link as. I'm going to go back up to my desktop, save it in Chapter 12 project, and I'm just going to call this jump.ogg. It is saved. Close this, go back over here and do jump.ogg, run the program. There we go. Easy as can be. Two lines of code in order to load the file, the other line of code will actually play the file. Not hard at all, and that's how you can get sound into your programs.